What is up stream or Twitch or whatever? Finally getting started doing this, so 
Well, hopefully this turns out good. You stop scarfing down food. I don't know what this is going to be, but now that I've kind of figured this out, I'm really still kind of testing all of the the streaming capabilities that I have, so just going to be hanging out, having a good time. I don't know if I'm going to post this to YouTube, so just have a good time. Hello, the one viewer I have. How you doing? Nice to see someone is watching. Even if nobody was, then. Still just be hanging out. Is it? What's wrong with that name? Strange using the newspaper guys right there. Never thought I'd see the light. Hey there. Wait. Hello. I know you. You won't believe this. But I got myself turned around again. Maybe somebody moved my ass. Let's take the bikini bottom and then push it somewhere else. That's what this guy's thinking. You don't want to head that way, friend, but maybe you better lay off the whiskey for a while. And do what? I don't know. I'm just riding brains. Thank you kindly, sir. Sure. Come on, you're holding me up. Hello again. Room's all yours. Head on up.
heck is that noise? Oh no. I think I know what that is. Oh. That does not sound good. Whatever that man is dealing with in there, that is quite unfortunate. No, the room sucked. You run a shitty establishment. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was fine. Is the newspaper locked off just because there's a mission in town or something? I was hoping to buy the newspaper actually here. Hmm. That's my guess, so. Yeah, welcome. So, what are you aiming for today? None of your business. We're just gonna do some basic Good. upgrading. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Smart addition. Not really sure why I have two of these, so I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Good on you. Yeah, I hear some Thanks. banker picked the wrong whore to take over to the hotel. See ya. Okay. I'm gonna save one more time and then I'm gonna start the mission. Cause I know a newspaper unlocks and the mission I just did two missions ago after pouring forth oil and then one right after this one, so. I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I've got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting. That might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. Hello, second viewer. That. How you doing? Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... Well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. 
And that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. What's the gold requirements for this mission? Because I'll try to get them if it's nothing too hard. Uh, chapter 2, let's see what you got. Sheep and the goats. Hurt all the sheep in the pen at Valentine. Get 25 headshots. Complete with at least 70% accuracy. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Okay, that's doable. Usually if there's something related to time, it's not oh, something well, I bother with. Again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. For free? Nice. Okay, well, I will upgrade this bad boy. Considering I have the funds necessary. Not sure what gain does. So, someone knows that out there. I wish they would tell me. Yeah, John, what the heck? You just pushed me out of the way. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Uh, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some huh? goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Yeah, we're very familiar very familiar with it. Only had to kill like 15 cows and oxes for crafting. It's ridiculous how much they <laughs> they have cows and oxes as uh required uh skins for stuff. Yet for some reason they only need the like there. three coyotes. And like three bears each type and like what two wolves and you encounter those like five times as much but no you need the you need to kill 15 cows in order to be able to craft anything all right but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale doubt the town will care to notice too much 
Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. One sec, guys, I'm sorry. them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch heads. That ought to do it. All right. Let's go round them up. Girl? Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Sheep to me. You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. Yeah, we gotta do that in this right, first game. I'm done arguing. Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Why does the game keep stopping me like this? It's the sheep? I know for a fact that there's a missable hat in this mission, so we gotta keep on the eye, eye out for that. Okay, come on. Come on, game. There it goes. Saying there, I thought I was not about to get that challenge because of a small mistake. Times that happen a lot. 
find sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Let's go, girl. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Oh. I never noticed that, but the, the blanket on John's horse is the same blanket that he can wear for his poncho in the first game. The details, man, the details. Thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. Well, never really was. Hold on, hold on. Hopefully it doesn't fail me. I'm kind of curious if it'll let me buy a newspaper. No, it will not. Fair enough. Why does it give me the Varmint Rival? Obviously, that is no use in an actual battle. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll switch to the shotgun. Uh, actually, hold on. No, we're going to switch to the Sniper Rival. And then have this. Ah, uh, that's not the one I need. It's this one. Okay, let's go. Not everything, but that's in the you, end, sir. I don't believe in absolutes. Just shades of gray. Compromises. Comp uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay. Um few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well... I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a I move. Got where I am by letting Why not? You rob from me? Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, 
This is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. No one. I want to be this Dutch Vanderwey. Oh, that was clean. Now we're looking for a hat that these guys usually drop. That might be it up there. There. We got it. Now we're gonna actually put on the better hat. There's another shot. Where are they at? We are just gonna walk out of here. That's our horses over there. Come on, Rod Strauss. Oh, Someone help me. Kind of busy at the moment. Hopefully, that doesn't bring down my accuracy too much. I got some loot in to do first. Back off. I'm making money. Nice. Perfect. Now, hopefully, I don't have to do this again. Come on, oh, 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 oh,
mine. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, uh, we're not going to get our bounty right. even larger than it needs to be, so we're just going to leave. Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, German Shepherd 2019. Thanks for stopping by and following. Hey, gold medal. Nice. We're just too good at this game. Where did I get this horse? Um, I actually found this in a random camp. Uh, you know how like some you'll find like some people randomly camping out and they'll attack you if you come close to the camp. Well, those are the events that usually have more of the rare horses. This is a Hungarian half breed, I think. Yeah, and it's it's uh I think it spawns in the epilogue in the areas it unlocks. But that that's one of the cases where you can actually find one. I know I I think you can get this after chapter five too. Like you can like there's one waiting for you. I think. I could be wrong about that though, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> Alright, well we're just gonna not save then. Turn the captive, get five headshots, 80% accuracy, complete the mission. Okay, yep. We got this. Easy. I did that. It's kind of dumb of me to do. So, you save the silly bastard's life, and you and him go robbing sheep. Uh. Just looks like one. He's a goddamn father. He's got a child. He ain't no father. I'm just begging you not to get him killed. How is that my fault? He's the one who suggested robbing the sheep. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. We keep heading east to 
Is that the plan? For now. But fair enough. He should probably we stop this life of crime anyway. Nice. So when she isn't wrong you, about that. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low. Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? <laughs> Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. Come on, girl. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. I don't usually do this, so this is fairly new to me. place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him one in the head south. Right. And I know by I should probably select this thing on the map so I know where I'm actually going. Okay, so I was turning the right way. And now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, Eventually, it went away. And this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons and better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Frickin' Micah. Shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. 
There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. And be careful. I will take these. Okay, Charles, you got a bit close there. No, thank you. Someone's been here. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. No, go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. Arthur's being a dick today. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Think this is the right way. Give me a second. Looks like they go down this way. Oh, you can actually track them too. It's nice. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Continues along the shore here. Anyway, you were saying? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If 
it's John's idea, it must be a good hey one. Hey there. Easy. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack... Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Carry on along this trail. So, anyway, when Jack was so free, anyway, uh, a long <laughs> okay. While. Here, he did, and we was family, you know. I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. <laughs> Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Whoa! Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Take cover! I see three coming. This way. What the hell? Okay, so we need uh five headshots and barely miss. Three. Look like it. There's four. Ah! Five. Six. Seven. Hey, I didn't miss a single one. Well, that's done dealt with. You get him untied, I'll see what they've left behind for us. All right. Now we just have to get him back quickly. Okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. All right, let's go. Yeah. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie gehören zu deiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Ja. Looks like we just made it. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Vamos. 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 Oh, 
Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Hi, how you doing? Don't know how to say your username, but it's good to see you. My gosh, look at that hair. I love it. And we got gold on that. Nice. Oh no, I've played this story a million times. Um, I've technically only completed it once, but I've replayed it probably ten or so times, so I know everything that happens. You won't ruin anything for me. Yes, yes, that 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 works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> All right, well, now we got that camp request done. I want to go give Jack his thimble. I might be playing some Red Dead Revolver later, though. Going old school, so if you've never seen that before, that's that'll be something different. That I don't think a lot of people do. Oh, yeah. One of the best games in the past few years, for sure. There are some bad things about it, though, but... Still a fantastic game. Thanks for the follow. Still can't say your name. I don't know how to say it, but uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, Krillix? Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but I appreciate the follow. Yeah, I haven't even touched online, so that goes to show how much of a single-player experience I go for in games. I don't know what does. I Awesome, cool. So, I can read. I mean, I have your thimble if you if you want it. Um, I'm from the Midwest. 
America. I don't know if you're asking like country or whatever, but maybe my accent says it all. That might be a glitch, which would suck. Hmm. Well, I guess for now, I'll go put that gold bar in the camp donation so I can buy the, uh... Ah! I hear England's a pretty awesome place. Honestly, one of the places I would consider moving to if I had to move out of America for any reason. I've always wanted to visit London. I'm a big uh, history nerd, so... I always thought London was a pretty interesting place. Take that. Go use this boat. Wait. Hold on. Before I go all the way there for no reason. Better go grab the actual thing I need, the hunt iguanas. Kind of defeats the purpose of going over there to get the iguana skin if it doesn't really mean anything. What am I doing? Oh. Duh. I have to actually... It's a D&D &D campaign? Greetings! My mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. <laughs> I, lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. 
I know you do. Now I feel bad for laughing. <laughs> Morning. Why won't why won't it let me give it? Come on, I thought we were friends. You forget things a lot, Uncle Arthur. Ah, I'm <laughs> joking with you. Stop picking on me. I didn't even mean to do that. I'm sorry, Jack. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I don't know why it won't let me give him his thimble, but it might be mi related to the mission. Aw, oh, man, did it take the guns off me? Dang it, that's not what I want. What am I doing? I can just go to the the weapon locker. Hey, little fella. Oh. What you up to? Uh, nothing. How'd you like to earn a dollar? A dollar? <laughs> you ever tried parenting Arthur? Leave the boy alone. Ain't doing nothing wrong. Even though I just Cow poke. Oh, I, I your messages just came up for me. Uh, yeah, this is chapter three. Yeah, you're the only Red Dead streamer that I found that actually has a mic. Uh, really? <laughs> well, I'm just I'm just playing to just chill out and have some fun. And try out this new thing, so I, I didn't realize it was a uncommon thing for Red Dead streamers not to have a mic. I mean, my internet could be pretty bad too, so that might be me. Yeah, I love this game. It's probably top five favorite games of all time. I don't know what would be considered number one. It goes back and forth a lot. Up there, probably this game, Red Dead 1, just because that's such a classic for me. I love it. Maybe Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, you just said the first Y. I keep not sure why they only just came up. Um, yeah, probably just internet on my end, too. You never truly know sometimes. And I live out in the buttfuck of nowhere, so. Hell of a morning. Aw. Okay, now let's do what what we were doing to kinda of figure out my uh my weapon configuration here. I will be probably doing a Red Dead Redemption 1 stream sometime soon. I'm actually doing a walkthrough on YouTube of Red Dead 1, 100% 1. So if you're interested, you can check that out. But I wanted to do a stream where I did like just all the bounty targets there were. And New Austin, just so I could stockpile some money. So, if you're interested in that, be sure to check that out. A little cross promotion. But no, that game is just classic. For, it does feel more like a Western game. Like, of course, this is still like a Western game through and through. But when I play Red Dead 1, I honestly feel like I'm in a Western. But that was like the point of it. And if you've ever seen Red Dead Revolver played that, like, that's the epitome of trying to pay respects to the Western genre. Every single trope you can think of, it's in there. So what other games do you like, man? Is it just Rockstar, Red Dead? Anything else that you like?
So that's three. So only four, we only need four iguana skins. That should be easy. Really, no reason to be going on slow mo. Yeah, I suck at COD. I used to play a lot more of it back in the days of like Black Ops One, Black Ops One, Modern Warfare Two. I grew up playing Finest Hour and the Big Red One. Those were probably my childhood favorite like first person shooter games. Like, I don't know what it is about them. Probably just, like, the story aspect and the focus on, like, building, like, a story around, like, your, uh, your brothers in arms. I just miss that. And I just suck at COD now, so maybe that's a part of it, too. Oh, I need to skin one of those anyway. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Have you 100%ed it? Because that could be like something to go for if you haven't yet. I've only 100%ed this once. But the way I play games is really weird. So, usually I always end up restarting, even though, like, I have no real good reason to. D finished it technically more than me. I do have way too many hours into this game, so you would think I would have finished it a lot more, but I haven't. But I could probably tell you where certain animals spawn, certain weapons are... You name it. Okay. I'm trying to get these green iguanas to spawn, but... They seem to be not wanting to do what I want them to do. Dude, that's me right now. It really is. I just played this game up until chapter 6 and then restarted it, but like, I'm not really tired of it yet. There's gonna get to a point where I am, and it's maybe because I am trying to do the walkthrough for Red Dead 1, so I'm just in the theme of trying to get this done. Probably when I get that uh, walkthrough done, I'll probably want to take a break, but this this is a game that just sucks you in, man. It's ridiculous.
The buck antler trinket is OP and a must have. There's no reason I should have gotten that as a perfect Cuban land crab. No reason. Thanks, man. Thanks for stopping by. It's good talking to you. Thanks for following him once again. No, don't need that. Camp and see if it camps me on the island. Man, that's annoying. I don't understand why it keeps taking me off the, the camp.
<laughs> what the heck? All right, I'll do that stuff later. I just was responding to the girlfriend. Making sure she was doing all right. Do I have a bounty in Valentine? I know I just shot up that place. 60 bucks, ah, that's not too bad. I know that can get pretty high if you kill the uh, lawmen, so not trying to do that. Dutch's latest plan. You know me, I never did much thinking. Yeah. I know you like to hide behind the angry moron act, but it's a thin enough veneer. If you say so. Time to start thinking, Arthur. Before it's too late. Some nice with that. Um. Good job, Mr. Morgan. You know, Arthur, I can always make you a new satchel if you hide on space. Really? Well, that's exactly what I need. Do me <laughs> nice. Thanks, Pearson. Thank you, Pearson. You're a lightsaber. 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 Oh, are they? Thank you so much. You are so helpful. All the time. Like, what would I do without you? So I guess I decided that I was going to use that one. Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. What hat do I have? Oh, I took the newsboy cap. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And we should be heading into town to get those two newspapers here soon. We actually have a bunch of stuff opened up to us, so thank God. Thank God. Hello. Sit down and have a drink with me, brother. So, Arthur. No. Is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember my old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven oh, that's not years. Good. We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Sure. Why not? Yeah, I guess you're right. <clears throat> Listen. You boys saved me from being eaten alive. Well, hello. Folk die. I smell all right to you. That woman <laughs> nags. Life is life is brutal, brief, and random. But liquor is wonderful. Eh. Them's are words I could get behind. <laughs> 
But Wonderful. liquor can be very dangerous too. I wish you would shut up. Whoa, John. Excuse me. That woman loves you. You haven't seen me. Sheer bliss, hey brother? Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> That's so funny. Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. That we have, Reverend. Have a fine time, sir. Oh, I love these camp conversations, even though they basically say Arthur's a bad guy. You want to talk? Yeah. I want to talk. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. Really? I, I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Who's over here? Oh, it's just Hosea. John, are you still drunk? There he is. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Ain't been better. Okay. Yeah, Arthur and John are both very, 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 very bad drunks. Alright, let's get out of here. I want to go get a haircut and then purchase a few new things. First, since it's warmer weather, we're going to switch to that. What am I looking for? Oh, oh, duh, duh. Yeah, that ain't too good. That ain't too good at all. Excuse me.
You interested in a little friendly competition? You a shit? Man, I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Uh, why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Okay? Go. That's right! Uh, ah. Maybe you were just out... Fun. I ain't happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. Okay. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see them, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot. a damn good shot, mister. Here you go. As promised. Thank you. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Why would you hold back if there was money on the line? It just seems kind of strange to me. Unless you were trying to, like, goad someone into betting more and get them confident, then maybe I can understand that situation. But that ain't really the case here. Nice. Let's go, girl. Yeah. I'm not hunting the legendary ammo right now. Might be taking a break here soon to go get something to eat. But I should be back relatively quick. Just started a new chapter, so kind of want to focus in on that, really.
What is my familiar familiarity with all the weapons? Not many people know this, but each of these guns has a fam like familiarity slash like affinity stats. That's an easier way to call it. That the higher you get with it, the faster you reload. I don't think it increases damage or range or anything that, but it basically increases how fast you reload a gun. Which is a very good thing, depending on what gun you're using. Especially for repeater weapons, you just load that so fast. For the rival weapons, that really doesn't make much of a difference, but still, like, it can help. Well, I guess it, it's pretty a good thing if, um... If you're using those single-shot rivals, like the Springfield or the uh, Rolling Block rival, that... It can be pretty beneficial that you're able to reload pretty fast, especially early game, but... In order to get that stat up, you need to actually use the weapon. Don't I dare what? <laughs> Don't I dare what, Mojo? What? Go get your food. Oh, okay. Supposed to get ch chicken stir fry tonight, so I'm kind of excited. No, nah, no dynamite. Shotgun. Who's there? Take him. Ah! Shit. Get him ah! Oh, you're a dumb Ooh. old bunch, ain't you? Never had a hard-boiled egg, like, ever. That's not exactly what I was intending to do. I saw this thing when I was working yesterday. We were filling out the clearance aisle because since the the store is remodeling, there really wasn't much for us non-remodeling workers to do. So they had us literally just move everything that was in one clearance aisle to the new location that they had in mind. Which essentially boiled down to how can we fit three shelves worth of items into one small shelf. Regardless, it was like literally like a little like egg thing that apparently was supposed to make breaking hard-boiled eggs easier. Not exactly sure how that works, because I, I don't eat hard-boiled eggs ever. But of course, if it's at a dollar store, you can suspect that it's probably not that great. Nah, I don't need to... And that skunk is lucky I don't need him right now. Oh, that's right. I was hunting uh, iguanas. I'm going to have to come back. End of story. <laughs> wow. Uh, why? <laughs> like, is it not hard to break a hard-boiled egg? Yep. I know nothing about the delicacies of eggs. You're gonna buy it regardless, Seamus, so shut up. Pick this up off the street, no doubt. Okay, I'll take another. Real good doing business with you. Thank you.
So all you have to do is peel it? Then why do you need a little egg thing to do that Welcome. for? How do you do? Liberty is worth every penny. Yeah, I killed 20 people in that town and apparently I only need to pay 60 bucks for that to be completely be forgotten. Now keep in mind, they weren't actually citizens of the town, but still. Well, maybe that's why it was in the clearance aisle. Well, that would that's what it said on the box bef box itself, so that might not actually be the price of it. I just can't remember what the clearance price was. To be honest, it's kind of hard to keep track of all that, you know? Especially when there's like a million people moving around you. And, uh... Not really sure if you're even selling anything. There were so many items there, I was surprised that we're even still trying to sell. But hey, they're, they're trying to make money. Oh, oh, uh... <laughs> I thought you were talking about the hard-boiled egg thing. Uh, $3 a person seems fair, maybe a little bit overpriced. Well, it was more like... Let's see. About 30 people. If my memory's correct. Because I, I know you end up killing a lot of guys in that town during that mission. Nothing special over there, so. A blind man. Sure. Okay, sure. I sense great confusion in you, sir. Great confusion. Not because you do not know, but because you are afraid of what you know. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Are there slurs in this game? Um, yeah. At times. But usually it's followed by us killing those people. There's literally a, uh, what, what? Youth, is it youth, you, how do you say that? It's eugenics, uh, it's a person who proposes, like, killing other races, except for whites. Now keep in mind, Arthur punches him or something. Yep. Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> I read that wrong entirely. But uh, no, he he literally looks like Hitler. He's got the whole haircut and everything. But Arthur pretty much tells him to run off or kill him. And you have the option to kill him. It's kind of annoying, though, because, like, where he is is in a city surrounded by cops who will attack you if you attack him, regardless of what he's saying. So, it's just kind of annoying. Oh, uh... Who you think you talking to? Absolutely. 
I don't see anyone trying to stop me. Oh, okay, I kind of regret doing that. Ew, no. Give him waves. All right. Um. Let's see. Let's see what styles there are. I can give him a fade. I think that's the best I can do. I usually give him a fade later in the game. You, I don't, I don't like this. I mean, he's a cowboy in the Old West. What do you really expect? I'll give him a bath here soon. But I think I'm going to beat this guy up because he's kind of annoying me. And I think you can get away with it as long as... Just ultra moist... I beat you up once, I'll do it again. I gotta get me some goddamn Oh that Jenny's like honey for flies. This town is near the most of her this week. Who? Well, one of the girls keeps a book on how many men asked to take her away. Nothing new under the sun. Oh well. Okay, where'd this guy go? I wanted to rob him. Oh man, that guy distracted me. Man, that sucks. Oh well. Come on in. Oh, you love it. Just right along the corridor. All right. Since apparently Mr. Morgan is dirty, we're going to give him a quick bath. <laughs> Would you like any assistance? No. I think I'm okay, thanks. I can wash myself just fine. Would this... Would this be considered a... a part of that one genre on Twitch, like bath time or something? <laughs> Whatever they call it. I wish you could just skip this. But you don't get the full stamina increase unless you do the full thing. Scrub a tub dub hot hashtag hot dubs streaming. Yeah, we only do that here. Okay, what are we doing next? What was I going to do? Oh. 
No, I need to do this mission, I think, before I do anything else. Um, yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. I know what I want to do next. I needed to buy. Now I can't unsee it ever since you said that. Take this. Take this. Take this. Thank you. to the trapper. Come on, Sparrow. Let's go. Has Arthur paid his taxes? Absolutely not. Most of that money is because I found some gold. I don't think there's a tax on... For one, being an outlaw, and two, finding gold. Is there? If you went treasure hunting, and you just found, like, gold yeah. bars just hidden somewhere, do you have to pay what you find in taxes? Does that technically count as income? Thanks. Nope. Screw you. My horse now. That's against the law. Well, uh, I guess in this imaginary world that's supposed to represent America, I, I don't know really what to tell you. <laughs> Now we're not stealing horses. Let's get back to what we were doing. Yep. Hey there. 
America. the bonding level at i think it's three but okay i just have to double what i have to get level four with this one then i can start training brush Buying. Actually, hold on. Let me see what I have okay, to sell to. Yeah, I can sell these. Don't need these. And I'm also selling one of these as well. Need to get two more iguana skins, but that shouldn't take too long. I can actually make that thing. Also selling this rack. Hope you make good use of that. Oh, I could have used this for crafting. What am I doing? Sure, got a few of those, huh? Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Does it, huh? Fine clothes. I actually kind of like that hat, but you know there are a lot better ones. Okay, but we are here for this. Very wise. Sure, you'll see a difference right away. Done. Which one? The, uh... Let's see. The badger? The beaver? The fox? This one is made out of squirrels. I think this one's kind of cool. Even though it looks kind of dirty. I've heard theories that this makes your luck chances in the, uh... The gambling game's higher, but I highly doubt that. Beaver.
Even got the little tail at the end and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Ah oh, man, there's a delay for me. Dang it. Oh well. It's not too bad. Feels like we ain't getting nowhere. It's the end of the century. It seems like we ain't much further on than we was in '65. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. We can still live free. We can still say we don't recognize you or answer to your laws. Fair to be one man living the truth and a million living a lie. Yeah, but that lie these guys are referring to is the fact that they aren't allowed to have slaves anymore. Now, you all know that most of us old-timers, we fought alongside each other. Third Lemoyne Regiment. The summer of 62. We was hunkered down by Copperhead Landing for weeks. It was a terrible time. It was terrible. Food was rotten. Humidity was unbearable. Nothing we had ever got dry. But we knew that sooner or later the enemy would be coming down the line of Hachi if they wanted to take San Denis. And sure enough, one morning, we woke to the distant sound, the boom of a cannon. Next thing you know, 
There's grenades raining down on us, modified artillery shells. Leave a man with the most horrific wounds, that's like nothing you ever seen. And then I get blown up into the air, and I'm as high as a house. And then everything goes black. And then I come to in a cloud of smoke. I think I must be at the gates of hell. And then it clears. And I see a swarm of them damn blue bellies. They're not 20 feet from me. And I ain't got no rifle. I ain't got no gun. I ain't got no nothing. So I just turn and I run at them. And they raise their rifles and they fire. But it don't make no sound. Their powder was too damn. So I get in there and I take them with my fist one by one until I know they're dead. And I just walk out of there as calm as the night. Something's only lost if you let it be. And as far as I can tell, you're all still breathing. Even though you're a bunch of lifeless saps. So fuck the hell up. I'll me? bet. Well, that guy's done with his story. Let's go kill these, uh... These guys. Yeah, my my ammo wasn't damp, so too bad for them, I guess. Saint Denis, right? Better mark that one down.
Master. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you, man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. I guess nice advice. Violence in Valentine. Hello, Read sir. About it. Hello, mister. First time? Uh, candy's in the middle there, next to the cute little dollies, and what's left of my self respect. I have a catalog, too, up here. This guy must hate his life. <laughs> Done. For my more discerning customers. And that should be good. Goddamn dog this morning. Not enough food for anyone. Yep. That's cool, girl. I'm going to save right here and go get something to eat. So I'll be back, everyone who's watching right now. I don't know how long it'll take. Maybe like 30 minutes. So depending how long it takes me to eat. So let's kick it to the royalty-free music. That's meh, you know.
You want me to try my fucking phenomenon?
Don't you say why you're a stranger now? Your eyes escape from mine when I sit you down. Don't you feel like we're holding on onto a fairy tale where the magic's gone?
We are back. Very nice. Turn you down, turn you off, whatever it is. All right. Had some nice stir fry that was delicious. is coming out soon. Let's make a decision. I'm reading a newspaper. Leave me alone. <laughs> Colonel Thaddeus Waxman and his Rough Riders. Is that supposed to be a reference to Roosevelt or something? sell papers? If not, move on. isn't free. You need to buy it. Oh, I see. staring at me. I need to do my job. How about you give me room? is coming out soon. Let's make a decision. Staring at me. Are you 
Are you gonna help me sell papers? If not, move on. I don't think they really cared about racial discrimination during this time period, so it's just kind of weird to read this in a paper. News isn't free. You need to buy it. Why do you keep staring at me? I need to do my job. How about you give me room? Thaddeus Major. Yeah, Major L. New edition is coming out soon. And he's supposed to be Theodore Roosevelt, so I guess that's why it's Thaddeus. Alright, man, I'll get out of your way. Just give me your other newspaper. What do you think I'm doing here, kid? Like, seriously. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry, dog. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's not dead. Thank God. Smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. You're done. I guess I was told. I don't have a lot of respect for the Lemoyne writers. In fact, I don't have a lot of respect for any gang in this game except for maybe Dutch's gang. And even then, Dutch is not really a great person. And he was talking to me outside of a town. I would have left him alone if it was inside a town.
How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. What's the matter, Arthur? Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble burst. <laughs> let's go. All right, gentlemen, let me show you how it's done. Yep. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Or any of them back there, oh, it was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine. What a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, 
This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy pop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! You're All no right. fun. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanting for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make them. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Goddamn coward's hiding behind that man! Woo! Oh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. Get alongside that flat carriage. Think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Yeah, well, screw you too, man. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh, arrest me now. That's enough. Damn it. What? Go, get after them. All right. We got to try not to get hit. You got to be kidding me, man. I didn't even give me a chance. I dodged this first attack and it didn't even matter. Why don't you help me, jerk off? Yeah, this this is a completely reasonable challenge, that's for sure. Honestly. Regardless, I'll have to load up the game some point and do that challenge again. Quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come Anders on. Anderson. What a name. If you're talking about Thaddeus being a bad name, what about Anders Anderson? There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. 
Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Yeah, how are we supposed to get him back really quickly if we're following a guy? Just seems kind of strange mission challenge, honestly. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Hey, fellas. Chop, chop. Don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Okay, this way. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hello? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out. Rebel gold, marrying cousins, not marrying. Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. 
Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the Easy. same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself. Open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Hold. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Looks like a fine vessel. Man, that dinner okay. made me tired. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. There's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. 
Okay, here we go. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, uh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Archer. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Now reel him in, Arthur. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. 50 pounder he reckoned. I thought you had to be in a swamp. I would like to see that. You're getting Oh. That's good to know. Got him. Oh man, I didn't even mean to do that. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Oh well. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Usually I fish for longer, but okay. Uh, totally press that button on accident. All right, I got one. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners till we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we? Do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in camp think we have too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> All 
All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Alright, I'm probably going to call it a stream for a little bit. Uh, I might be streaming later. I don't know. We'll see. Um, whether I upload this YouTube, I don't know either. But regardless, if uh, you're seeing the stream now, whether it's on YouTube or you're watching on Twitch, be sure to follow the Twitch channel. Follow my YouTube, follow my Twitter, follow everything that I have so you can know when I'm streaming next posting videos next just let me know and i will see you guys in the next stream so see you guys